Hey, so I thought I'd film a little experiment that I've had going. I probably should have been keeping uh, up to date with it more often, but I have not because I am lazy. So I have here a closed uh, ecosystem that's been shut since, can't, I don't know if you can see the date, June 23rd of this year. So it's been, today's what, the 29th? So uh, a little bit more than two months, pretty much. I put in rocks on the bottom. You know, just uh, epoxy covered rocks. There's a little bit of algae right there. Um, and then I just put in regular soil and then a couple weeds that I got from my backyard along with, I believe, five of these tiny little earthworms. So I have a really crappy camera. They're there. So pretty much uh, I put all this in a jar and I had five other ones and I was trying to make a, uh, a living ecosystem and this is the only one that has survived and it's... Uh, really the only one with this type of weed and the only one with this size of worm. So those two seem to have uh, worked really well together. But I've had it just outside and everything inside of it has grown continuously. So I have it over here so you can see both sides. Um, all the black dots you can see, that's easy to see on the camera. That's fecal matter. That's uh, poo from the worms. Uh, in the daytime they all go into the sand and once it cools down at night they uh, almost all of them come up uh, past the soil and they just crawl on the glass and um, I'm, I can't really figure out why but you really can't see the uh, the amount of detail within this is that the uh, the glass is actually covered with like a, a thin film of extremely small larvae you can't even see them unless you really focus on them uh, when I first started the experiment there was drops of water condensation on the top of it and each drop maybe had about 30 uh, larvae that were the smaller than an eyelash, maybe a fraction of an uh, eyelash. So they're still living, but um, you know, not too many of them survive, I'm sure. There's a big one right there. But yeah, my, uh, my plants have really grown. They were maybe, uh, let me just put this on the table, maybe that height when I started, and now they're at that height. Not only that, but a, uh, another type of plant in there has taken root. I don't know if you can see it. It's the two leaf one right there. It has a, more, uh, a lot more leaves, but that one has kind of grown in here as well. So, I know it doesn't look like much, but it's pretty much this is a closed glass system that uh, with, uh, you know, plants, worms, bacteria, a lot of other little critters. Uh, I think I have some termites in here, some ants. Oh, there's a tiny little baby worm right there. Uh, damn it, my shitty camera did it. Can't really can't see it point is that um is that everything in this system has been recycled the water has been recycled through the worms through the plants through the soil through the rocks the um you know the elements themselves have been recycled uh, there's there have you know the worms died and then the plants have taken the nutrients from the worms and using them to grow and then some of the plants die and they go into the soil and the worms use that so really um even the air itself uh, the oxygen and the carbon dioxide and everything else Sure, a lot of smelly things in there have also been recycled between the organisms, uh, the plants and the worms, and even the bacteria in the soil. Is that uh, everything in this jar, you know, its net weight hasn't increased or anything, but everything within it has been recycled to, uh, to pretty much create this, uh, this little mini earth, I guess. It's kind of cool. It's been, you know, over two months, which is pretty good. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's a little bit more complex than the aquatic ones. The aquatic ones just have water. Uh, and brine shrimp and snails and algae. This actually has a terrestrial, or not terrestrial, um, you know, soil, pretty much land animals in it. They're not aquatic. So there's a, um, it's, it's harder to establish a balance there. It's a, a little bit more complicated. Um, anyway, that's it. I wish that I had a better camera because there's a lot of really cool things to check, uh, check out in here, but you really have to look at it with your eyes. You can't really capture it, at least with a, um, a cheap Costco camera that my parents got me. A long time ago, but yeah, there's a bug right there. There's bugs all over the inside of it, and uh, I probably should seal this better because I, I worry that very slowly the water will escape and it'll dry up, and uh, you know it's a horrible death to to dehydrate, especially if you're a worm. Well, I guess if you're a worm, you'd um you just kind of run out of oxygen. They they breathe through the mucous membrane uh, on the outside of their bodies, and they can absorb oxygen as long as they are moist. So um, I always felt bad for them when they dry up after it rains, but uh, actually once it rains and they go up onto the concrete, uh, before they dry out and die of heat, 
they actually suffocate because their skin dries up and they can't breathe. Ah! But yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know if you can see it there through the light. No, you cannot. But yeah. I've gone through a lot of time trying to come up with a system, and this is the only system that has survived. There it is. I couldn't find anything else. Uh, I tried typing in, you know, little Terra, uh, what are they called? Um, Ecospheres, Ecospheres for the, for the water one. This is more of a, what do you call it? I can't remember right now, oh well. But yeah, so this is a small little closed uh, system. Everything's alive, everything's good. Yes. That's it. Hope you enjoyed.